Hey, it's Joe Tamargo from WedheadPumpRepair.com. All right, so I was just here uh, rebuilding this Hayward Power Flow pump. I've been showing you in several videos, and a lot of times people ask me, how does the seal go bad? All right, so we're gonna do just do a quick video here, maybe like a minute or two, and people always say, what, what's the seal, and what, how does it leak? Okay, so basically you have two parts. Okay, pretend this was mounted to your motor here. Okay, you have one part of the seal inside here. Robert, come on, why don't you zoom in here so these folks can see. Okay, you have two parts of the seal. You have one part that's in here that's mounted inside here and the second part that's on your impeller. And what happens after a while, when these pieces turn for a long time, okay, it starts to wear. Just like your toilet bowl flapper, it starts to break down that. You see that? I think I'm getting black all over my hands. That starts to wear. The spring starts to rust up like this and doesn't really work. And then what happens is water will leak through that hole, okay, and that's where the shaft is in the motor and then it will make your bearings go bad inside your bearings. So basically, this goes like this. Like that would be mounted to your pump and then your impeller would be like right here. So when the seal goes bad, water shoots through here, through that seal, and then starts shooting into your motor. And then you can see it starts wetting ew, the grass and stuff on there and it gets it all nasty. But the good news is that you can fix this, okay? And you can fix it with two bearings and a seal from us, okay? So wetheadpumprepair.com. This is Joe Tomorrow. If you need anything, please give me a call. No problem. A lot of times I even answer the phone and I'll be able to help you, okay? All right, so if you need a seal, it's a PS, uh, PS200 in this Hayward Powerflow pump. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. This is Joe Tamargo. Peace.